Hello gang. Hello friends. Hello gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today for a big ass haul of some nail stuff. Nail stuff. <laughs> So I have a whole bunch of new stuff and I want to show you all because you're the only people who care. Um, <laughs> this package apparently was especially made for me. This is from Vetsy. I love their little bubble wrap. It's heart shaped. It's so cute. So we've got six colours, uh, six gel polishes. They also sent me a magnet on oh, these little things that come with the bottles so you can put, put them on the front, the colour swatches, but I don't tend to use them. I like to use the lids at the top. And then this magnet, which I, I don't find those work too well with gel polish. They work fine with regular non-gel polish. What's the fucking word? Nail varnish. Um, <laughs> magnetic ones are those. So we've got six from Vetsy. Um, they were sent to me, but then the rest of the stuff um, was a big purchase. So this is the first Vetsy one. Oh, it's so pretty. I did show the name, didn't I? I think. This is, uh, it looks kind of green there, but it's actually more champagne, real champagne gold. And then the next one is a, is a shimmery, they're cat eyes, both of these, um, pink to purple um, colour. <laughs> it will change, obviously, when we add the magnet, so we'll, we'll see that when we swatch them. Then we have the neon cat eye, Oh my word, look at this, look at, ah, oh, I should have saved that actually for another one. But this has loads of tiny little hollow bits in it as well, which you can't see very well um, on camera, but they're there and there's fudging loads of them. And then this gorgeous one, which is a blue with a sort of goldy shimmer, which will be really nice for mermaid seaside summery sets. Um, and then we have... Oh no, this this one. Oh, this one as well. Look at the shimmer. Mm. I don't know why I'm showing them in the bottles. I don't do that for all of these. Um, but I was for these ones. Um, you can get, before I forget, you can get... Um, oh no, this one, this one. Look at this one. Oh, holy moly. Look at... Oh, so good. See all the different colours in there? Oh, it's gorgeous. And it's even more amazing when we magneticize it. Let's take a moment to look at today's sponsor, which is YFN Jewelers. I will leave a link to them in the description and to the items I'm showing today. They have, let me pick a couple of pieces. The boxes and the bags are really nice. They're kind of pearly. They've kind of got mermaid pigment, pigment on them that you put on nails. Really pretty boxes. And they have a little jewelry wipe inside. And I have picked these earrings. I've put a picture on because I couldn't get it to show very well on camera. They're so cute. They have a little sun, moon and stars on them on the black background. They're sleepers. They're super comfortable. And if you know me, these are right up my street. I adore them. I'm wearing them right now, actually. And then they also sent me this, which is two necklaces that join up to make yin yang. And one has the moon with a little moonstone in and the other one has the sun with a moonstone in and both of the stones um, change colours and then on the back it has BFF <gasps> best friends forever how cute is that I'm going to share this with my eldest niece I think she's at the age now where I can trust her with real real silver real jewellery um, oh look at the colours in that stone so gorgeous you can get um 28 percent off using the code joe 28 off of orders over 50 dollars and during mother's day the, oh look see they join up and make a gorgeous little yin yang i absolutely love that you could use you that would be a good mother's day present as well wouldn't it and during their mother's day sale when you purchase um, over $50, you also get free these free pearl earrings, which are super cute. They'd be really nice mummy present, wouldn't they, I think? Um, so go to the description to follow the links to these items 
and the discount code. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Oh, you get little discount codes in with your orders for the next ones. Thank you for sponsoring this video. The code, the links and all the details are in the description box. So we're going to swatch these now and play around with the magnets. What was I saying? Yes, you can get um, a discount at Vetsy on your orders at Vetsy by using the link in the description and the code on screen now. I can't remember all the codes off by heart, but there are lots and lots and lots of, oh, fudging, look at that. So bright, that glow. Um, there are so many codes in the description for different places that you can get money off. So always check before you make purchase of nail stuffs because you could be saving some money, which is one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> so now I'm taking a different magnet because this is a sort of different cat eye. Doing the sort of bringing the zhuzh all up to the front isn't as um, bold as the others. So I figured a straight line just showing the... Um, cat eye would be better on this one. I must admit, I've been really impressed with um, the stuff that Vince, 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 I've just done a Spanish lesson on Duolingo, just a quick two minute lesson. And uh, it was talking windows. So I have Ventana. Is that? Yeah, Ventanas, windows. Um, Vetsy, look at that one. Oh, they're all so beautiful. Yeah, I'm really impressed with their, their products because they're not expensive. And they're really good quality. Same with all the Born Pretty ones we get um, in this video coming up. Um, the, cr the price is really great and the quality is great. So it's kind of like win-win for everybody. And then I'm using the tube magnet they've sent me as well. I like these tube magnets. A few of you have asked which where I get the magnets from. This one's really good, um, which is from Vetsy. So I would recommend... Oh, that's gorgeous. It's like when you look out the window and see the sea all sparkly in the summer. But if you live by the sea, <laughs> that is. If you don't, then you don't look out the window and see that. Um, This one is the purple one. Look, holy moly. It's like instant galaxy nails. It's kind of annoying because the position that I can see the glow is different to where the camera, the way the camera is looking at the nail. We're both looking at it from different places. So it doesn't show straight away on camera until I wiggle it around. And then this bad boy. Oh, I mean, so most of the, all of these colors, you don't have to magneticize them. You can leave them as is. But uh, I think I have a little play around with this one, trying to do a sort of wiggle, pushing in from one side and then from the other side, pushing the other way to get this kind of swirl. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I love nails that look like they're alive, magical. And then I'm just sort of re-disturbing the polish and trying a couple of other things with this magnet. Dexter's asleep next to me on the bed and he's uh, getting a bit panty and wriggly. So he's dreaming about something. Apologies if you can hear him. I mean, not really. I love him. <laughs> he can make as much noise as he wants. Look at this. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, we're doing more stuff with it. I was just mesmerized by this. It's so gorgeous. I just couldn't put it down. I was just wanted to sit and play with it all, all day. So that is that one. And this is the six from Vetsy. Look how beautiful they are. <sighs> so don't forget, I have a code for them so you can get these or anything else from their website with money off using that code. Have a little, oh my word. I'm getting carried away with these. I'm sorry. Um, if my voice sounds funny, it's because I just had a little, a little stress and hurt my throat screaming. <laughs> I'll tell you in a sec. Oh yeah, so these are the bottle lids. So I filled those in. You can take the lids off and then plonk some polish in the little caps, cure them, and then pop them back on the bottles. I prefer that to the big squares that they have on the front because that makes them quite bulky. And now, look at the size of this parcel. This was so exciting. I haven't opened it. Um, I opened it on camera. I'd opened it this far and thought, let's, instead of looking at it all and then putting all back to do an unboxing, let's just do it. So I sat in my room for about five days without me knowing what was in it. It was very painful. It was a difficult time. Because when I order, so I ordered this um, and then I intentionally don't look over what I've ordered 
until I open it all up because I forget and then it's like a, a surprise. <laughs> so we have all this stuff. All of this is from Born Pretty Store, which you can also get a juicy discount at using the link in the description and the code above. And it's a great price anyway, everything at Born Pretty. So money off just makes it even better, more justifiable. <laughs> so I opened everything up and organized it. 14 of them are one collection. And then we have three glittery reflection, reflective ones. Then we have the thermal powders. We have two chromes. I already have four of those. I wanted some more. And then we have these three boxes, which are jellies. And my pops are all labelled, ready to go. So we're just going to swatch everything. This is from the Sea Blue Cat Eye Magnetic Collection. I already had two. And there was 14, but it was cheaper to order the set of 14 than it was to order the 12 I didn't have. And these are bananas. I think this is my favourite type of cat eye where it just brings this whole zhuzh up. And it's so fucking bright. It's blinding. It's gorgeous. It's just stunning. I love it so much, which is why I decided to get the whole collection. So we're using the magnet just to bring up the zhuzh. That's what I'm calling the, the, the bits of stuff. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, and then you do one thing and then it just pow. It's just woo. If you think it looks nice, keep going until you go holy moly. That's when, that's when you've peaked. That's when you've got all the zhuzh out. So we'll just go through and swatch all of these. And uh, I'm not going to audibly marvel at each and every one. Because it would just be me going, ooh, ah. Every time, oh, look at that though. <laughs> Maybe I will. I wish I'd have voice, I wish I'd have recorded um, what I was saying to myself whilst filming these because it was like watching a fireworks show. Every minute or so, I was ooing and ahhing at how bananas that brightness is. Look at it. And then when you bring out the zhuzh, it also kind of makes the, see, the green looks greener once you bring out the zhuzh than it did before magneticatizing. It is a word. It's not. Are you okay, my love? Yeah. Oh, he's about to turn full upside down. And there's a dog penis very close to my head. Can we, should we just, I'll move then. I've got like, I've got about a foot of the bed. He's got the whole of the rest of the bed on his blanket. Um, and he's just upside down. One hand is directly up in the air. The other one's bent, bent, and his legs are akimbo. You okay? <laughs> Little weirdo. Um, yeah, I just had, I'm just going to chat now because I'm swatching and that's it. Um, I had, yeah, I just had a bit of stress, which is why my voice sounds a bit croaky because I was angry. I, I, you know, when you have one of those like four second stresses when you have four seconds of just losing your absolute shit oh number seven and number eight are my favorite in these they're insane you have to have them you don't just want them you need them they're amazing um but yeah you lose your shit and then you're fine again fine before lose your shit then fine again i had one in i had one in front of an ex once and he got in such a stink over it it was the first one he'd witnessed but how men have not realized yet that we, we need to have at least 64 mildly psychotic four second outbursts every day or we'll murder people because everyone's a dickhead like if you're gonna work the wipe the work top like a fucking imbecile zigzagging like a maniac oh yeah great job you missed like 82 percent of it then I'm going to lose my shit for four seconds. But then I'll be fine. Why are you even in the kitchen? Go away and let me do it. <laughs> now we need to have a tantrum about my mini tantrum and then ruin the rest of the day. Put your big boy bra on and just be grateful that I didn't ram a dishcloth down your throat. Who doesn't know how to wipe a white top? Jeez. So yeah, I had one of those a minute ago because I tripped over a cable whilst I was carrying like a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not doing 17 trips up the stairs. I will carry all the wet washing that I need to hang up. 
my book. What else did I have? My book, my tablet, two phones, um, oh, just a bunch of other stuff. Dexter's Teddy. Um, and then I tripped over something. So was fine. Lost one shit. Now I'm fine again. There shall be no murders committed today. Uh, but that's why I'm always a bit croaky because I effed really loud and uh, hurt my throat a bit. <laughs> right, back to nails. We're still swatching. This is still the collection. What are we on? Number 11 um, of this sea blue cat eye. So I've called them all sea cat and then just a number um, so I can find them in my drawer, of which they're not in at the moment. My desk's a fudging mess which I hate because it's normally immaculate. I've just got so much stuff I need to put away. I've got nowhere to put it because I've got so much stuff because I have a problem. <laughs> I think I said before there was a, um, a website for a nail stuff or something and it said, do you need like an alibi for your order? <laughs> for example, inside your parcel... A thing that says congratulations on winning the competition so that your partner doesn't know that you've spent money on products. I thought that was amazing. Um, maybe when I do the press-ons I can offer that option, which is still happening and a few of you have asked. I'm just uh, working on some things behind the scene um, and getting it sorted. I want to be super duper organised before I sort of officially start doing it just so that, you know, I can be organised for me, but also be organised for you. Are you okay? Are you making enough gross noises, Dex? Don't start licking your paw. It sounds disgusting. Um, so they are still, they're still coming. It's still happening. This is the last one of that sea blue cat eye collection. <gasps> Look at them all together. Oh, number eight, that really blue one is probably my favourite. And that pink, oh, all of them, the champagne -y ones will look so nice. Which one, let me know in the comments, which one of these is your favourite? I'm going for six and eight and 13. And oh, all of them, oh, and number three, the last one, gorgeous. So we know I love cat eyes and now I have even more. Yippee! So that is those ones. Next up, what do we have? We have the reflective glitter gel that's fbs03 i have 03 04 and 05 so this is it without a flash it's just normal lighting super hollow and sparkly and then bam in your face punch you in the face reflective shiny blinding amazingness <laughs> god i do you know what being a nail tech is just so fun look at the stuff Look at look at my job. Look at that's my job. That's my job right there. Oh, it's so good. It's so pretty and sparkly and beautiful. <laughs> um and then this is the last one of those again without the flash first. It's a lot more gold than it looks um here on camera. It's definitely more gold. And then buy um oh Dexter, that's my rib. That's my rib. Oh, oh. I love you, but just scooch a bit. Okay, thanks. You'll take up the whole bed. He doesn't care. He doesn't look bothered at all. So we'll swatch these now. I'm going to swatch them with the flash on um, because it's just too good not to. And I'm doing the second coat, which I have been doing on all of them because everything looks better with the second coat. So we're doing the second coat and then curing. And then obviously I'll top, um, which I think I do off camera. I think... With the, there, well, this is three, four, and five. So there's obviously a one and two in this set and possibly more. Um, and I kind of wish I'd ordered all of them, whichever, however many there were. But, oh, so you can see the gold there. It's much more gold um, than it's coming across, across on camera. So this is them top coated without flash, just under my desk light. And then bam! Oh! with flash it's incredible you can see the hollow more in real life with the flash on like you can see it here but not as hollow as it looks um in real life okay sweets he's fine and now we're going to try these chrome so i've already got four that's the four i've already got and i thought they were amazing 
so I bought the fuchsia one and the silver one. I should have done this on white, but I did it on black, and then I do it on silver. So over black, it makes a noise. Don't stop. Oh, he's nibbling at his waist or something. That's fine. Use me as a as an armrest. He's digging into me. Um, so it looks really gunmetal on the on the black. This is a born pretty uh, duster brush that I use, a little retractable one. So you pull it up and then it has a lid. Um, so yeah, it looks really um, gum metal on the black. So I put it onto a nail that had black and then top coat, no wipe top coat, and burnished it into that. I thought it's a bit dark, so I did it over silver, which is really dumb because the silver's got a bit of a shimmer in it. It's Madame Glam's perfect silver. You can also get money off Madame Glam using this stuff at the top there. Um, so it's showing the sparkly the sort of shimmeriness underneath it. I should have done it on white because it would have been this bright and silver, but wouldn't have had the shimmeriness that you can see over the silver. Oh, and look at this one. Fuchsia. I don't know if it's called fuchsia. I just call it fuchsia. Um, but that's insane. How nice is that? Oh, it's bananas. So again, that was on to... I did that over black, but the black had been top coated with no wipe. And then we're going to float some top coat on straight onto the chrome pigment. Make sure you cap the edge or not, because it's just a pop. <laughs> and that's them. So yeah, that silver would have been as sort of mirror-like as the fuchsia or the middle one had I done it onto a white. Uh, but I didn't because I'm Wally. So that's them. Uh, all the ones I have from that collection, and they're not—they're not—they're not expensive at all. Um, so I might have to end up getting the more. I know they've got more of those, the little black pots. And now, <gasps> are you still here? Let me know if you're still here. Come and say hello. Now we have the first of this all shine on me. Did it say? I think yes. Um, and they have little coloured tops, which I really like. And these are jellies. So we're only going to do one coat and then top them. So they're sheer. And the reason I wanted these was because whenever I need to make a jelly, whether you're going over, you know, if you're painting over um, a silver glitter or something, you can add jelly colours to change the colour of it in places or you can use it for shading. So if, you're sh if you've done a character or something with an orange head and you want to shade it, instead of mixing... Um, the orange you've used with some base coat to make a clear, which would make a jelly, which can sometimes go a bit streaky. And if you then need to make more, it might not be consistent. Um, so this is, where was I going? Yes, to make a shading colour. So if I want to shade something that's red, I can use this red and it will make it a bit darker with or without having to have made my own or mix clear with black for shading. So I got lots of jellies for a multitude multitude of shading purposes. Um, don't know what those purposes are yet, but I just know I wanted them. So there we go. I want, I got. Um, so that is the first... Sorry, did you hear the frog in my throat then? <clears throat> That's the first All Shine On Me set that I got. And then this is another one. That looks like it's going to have some sparkle in it. So I'm interested. And look... Just stop talking. Hang on a minute. I need to stop for a sec, don't I? I haven't shut up. Okay. Three. One. Okay, I'm back. Um, I just thought I'd give you a rest. Look how bright these are while still being opaque. It's like a full, not opaque, sorry, sheer jelly. So they're super bright, but they're also see-through. Oh, this one. The, imagine this one over some silver chrome or over a silver cat eye oh this color i wonder if they do that in opaque because i love that oh, i thought we'd have a look in the bottle at this one because it's sparkly oh it's lovely that'd be really nice for tortoise shell with a bit of sparkle in wouldn't it yes i can't remember how to do tortoise shell i've got a video on it but it's like a client asked me ages ago, after I'd done the video though, for tortoise shell. So I had to rewatch the video. 
like an asshole watching my own video, but I can't remember some things. If someone asks us something that I've already done, I'm like, I don't know how to do that. Galaxy Nails? No idea. You've done several videos on it. Still don't know. <laughs> Marble? No idea. Um, done loads of videos with it. Still don't know how to do it. And then I have to go back and watch my own videos, which are all on an external hard drive. So I have to watch them through YouTube, but I don't earn from watching the ads myself. I think they must, something to do with like your IP address or something, like they would know if I just put my videos playing on a loop. You can't earn money that way. <laughs> So this is the second All Shine On Me box of jellies. The browns would be really good for um, shading on... I'm saying characters. I've never drawn... Have I drawn characters? I've drawn little animals and things, but no known characters. But I do want to try. So that's one of the reasons why I've got a lot of these jellies. And then I forgot to press pause. So there was like 15 minutes of me using my label maker and watching whatever I was watching. Um, but I left it in because I know lots of you ask about my label maker. It is the Dymo Letra Tag, um, and I use the clear tape. And the size, the, um, I can't remember what they call it on there, For, not the format, something like that. Um, but the size I use is small, and I do it all in capitals, and I make sure that the end of it so that number three always goes in that position on all of them so no matter how long it is they all end at the same spot on each pop and it just looks smart it looks nice and smart so these jelly ones as well they're a bit less jelly than the others but i think these will be really good for shading as well oh and this one with the sparkly bits that would look nice over something over anything it has got a brownie sort of pinky brown almost tone to it but that would look really nice over things and they could also be used for frenches on the natural nail um, if you're doing a french tip don't you hate it when i don't stop talking no when oh okay so that's all the nudie sheer ones we have i really like those um when someone comes in and says oh just just quick and easy french what what? That's not quick or easy, especially if they're, their free edges are all different lengths or their white bits are different thicknesses on each nail. Just stop thinking that it's easy. It's not. Okay, so we've got our thermo, thermo pigments. I'm going to use this fluffy brush. Okay, sweetie pie. Oh, another itch. He's got another itch. Don't mind him. And I started by doing a base coat and curing it. And then applying the pigment to... Dexter, sweetie, thank you. Love you. Pigment onto the tacky layer. So it has been cured. But I thought it needs a bit of a backbone. It needs a colour underneath it. But before, before I thought that, I did a second coat of this. So straight... So I put this powder on and it does grip to it really nicely. And it dusts off and it's still all there. So I put another coat of base coat on and cured that. And then did a second coat of the pigment, but then thought that's far too faffy. Even for me, who likes to faff like a fucking champion, it was too faffy. So I put, I top coated this, and then I put a green uh, polish on the underside of the pop to act as if I'd put it down first. Um, and that looked better, the color was sort of bolder, wasn't a sheer. Um, and then we'll do a little test in a minute to how they change in the temperature. So that's the colour I've put behind it. And then turn it over and I pressed it down. I didn't know how long I'd need to hold it for. It turned out it wasn't that long. <gasps> Look at that! It's gone yellow! How cool is that? The colour changes I noticed when editing don't show up as much on camera as they do in real life but they were there and they were awesome. So I painted a coat of yellow, cured it. Now I'm doing base coat over that because the polishes I was using, I found didn't have that much of a tacky layer. So the pigment wasn't sticking to it. Why the fuck I didn't use an orange polish under this? I don't know. Um, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, but yeah, so they didn't 
they weren't tacky enough to really grip onto much of the pigment so I put a base coat over it and then cured it and now I'm using the tacky layer of the base coat to add the powder and just dusting off. I'm hoping to sort of mix this in with some base coat, um, mix some powder in with the base coat and use it for little details, for little sort of special effects maybe. I don't know. I think I'm imagining that I'm better than I am <laughs> at stuff. But you've got to, you know, you've got to, if you want to do something, you have to teach yourself how to do it. So that's what I'm going to do, hopefully. And then that one, look at that. That is so cool. How cool would that be for fire stuff? And then it, when you, it heats up and it gets yellow. It's amazing. So I thought we'll put it all yellow and then fast forward and watch it change back to orange. This was only fast forwarded um, at twice the speed. So it doesn't take that long to go back. Um, but I was amazed by that. So cool. And then we'll carry on doing these pigments. This was the full set, I think, of the pigments so this six was a six or eight uh eight maybe seven i can't remember but i got them all um so we'll just dust that on on again we've put a color coat down cured it and then a base coat down and cured it just because my color coat didn't wasn't very tacky but do a little test first and if you're if it sticks to the tacky layer of your color coat fine then you can just skip the base coat step and then top and then this one, oh, we're not going to see the changes of the last few um, until I've done them all because, well, well there's no reason <laughs> because I didn't show it until I'd done them all. The purple, this purple one was the least changey, but I looked at the pictures of them to make the thumbnail for this video and I think I needed to get a bowl of hot water and a bowl of cold water and show it that way which I kind of wish I'd done and just remember that I was going to go and film that today so I can put it in the video but somebody forgot I don't know who was it you um so I didn't do it <laughs> but you can see by just pressing your finger on it um but yeah probably would have got a better effect in hot and cold water because the pictures showed that there were three different colors you get out of it this color and then um, a warmer colour and then a much colder colour so they had three so I should have I should have got I should have made the effort but I'm on the top floor of my house and then mind you there are taps on the middle floor so I suppose I don't I can't use the excuse of having to go down two flights of stairs um, actually I can because I would have had to go and get some glasses or bowls or something I'm just lazy that's why I'm not showing you that way um, oh my voice it's really, my throat is really hurting. Damn me and my little psychotic outburst. This colour's gorgeous. Okay, so this one doesn't change too much, but it does change. But I think, see it goes purple. Oh no, that is quite a decent change, I think, actually. It goes purple, um, but again, it would show better if I was using more sort of extreme temperatures, a bowl of hot and a bowl of cold water. This one doesn't show as much on camera, but was really good. It went from sort of a really hot pinky coral to really orange. You can't see it very well on there, but it really was a really good change, that one. And then this one goes from blue to light blue, I believe, I believe. Let's have a look. Come on, woman. Yeah. So it's subtle. Um... But again, it's more, it's less subtle in real life. Um, so that was a good 20 minutes of fun after trying to just press them in certain patterns and things. And then the last one, the purple one, changes to a lighter purple. That's the least changey. Um, but it does change still. So this is my big haul from Born Pretty and Vetsy. There's so much stuff. For I think around it was 130 born pretty. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was what was it? I can't remember. It was I round. I think it was about 200 in total. Um, and this is all the pops. That's a lot of stuff. I think for the price, so many bottles of polish, the cool chromes. Although f four of those, I did already have. Oh, are you huffing? Are you fed up? 
I'm sorry, my love. He's like, can you shut up? It's one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Um, so that's all of them. I hope you like them. Let me know which ones are your favourite. Don't forget to use the discount codes in the description box to save money on your orders. Um, I hope you like this video. Come and say hello in the comments. I do read them all and I love to hear from you. I appreciate you being here so, so much. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.